What's up, y'all? So, I, like, I know y'all heard about this Wendy stuff, and they just, she just keep canceling. I thought they was gonna start it again, but apparently they delaying it again. And it's like, what is going on? I don't know. So, we about to see right now what is going on with Wendy. Okay, let's see. The premiere of the Wendy Williams show has been delayed again. I said, what? What? On Thursday, it was announced that the rescheduled October 4th premiere is no longer happening as Wendy continues to face health struggles. After sharing the news on the show's Instagram account, they added that Wendy has been and continues to be under a doctor's care and is not ready to return to work. Poor but the Wendy. plan is to return with new shows starting October 18th. The statement did not go into detail about what led to the additional delay, but they did share, See. quote, her breakthrough COVID case is no longer an issue and she has tested negative, but she is still dealing with some ongoing medical issues. No regrets. Earlier this month, a source told DT that the 57-year-old TV personality was home and, quote, improving every day. In mid-September, the show revealed that Wendy had tested positive for COVID-19, and they would be postponing the season 13 premiere in order for her to quarantine and get better. The newest season of The Wendy Williams Show was scheduled to start on September 20th. The date was then moved to October 4th. <laughs> Earlier this month, fans grew concerned after the show announced that Wendy was dealing with ongoing health issues and was undergoing further evaluation and therefore would not be able to complete her promotional appearances for the upcoming season. It's been a long summer and we've got a lot to talk about. Wendy's brother, Thomas Williams Jr., shared an update on her health during a live stream on his YouTube channel. I did speak with Wendy. She's, she's stabilized. She's doing all right. You know, um... I can't mm -hmm. give all the blow by blows. I told her I'll never precede her um, voice through the show. I really do believe and have the faith that Wendy's going to make it. Um, That's you good. know, it's it's not an easy fight. It's not one that uh, individuals always win. Many times I come up here and I laugh and I joke, but behind the scenes, I'm 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 really uh, so thankful. But this isn't the That's first good. time Wendy has taken time off of her show due to health issues. Back in May 2020, she announced she would be taking a step back to deal with health concerns related to Graves' disease. And in February 2018, shortly after revealing her diagnosis, Wendy told her viewers she needed a break to handle her illness. My hyperthyroid is attached also to Graves' disease. I feel like there are birds swimming around my head. You know, like a cartoon? <laughs> like constantly high but not high when she came mm. back that march she opened up to dr oz about taking the time off i had to take three weeks off of work which was horrible but needed get yourself checked out that manicure and pedicure can wait take care of yourself first Oh, that's I, she's going through something, and <clears throat> they still ain't really give what I was trying to get. Like they just danced around what's going on. All we can do is just pray and wish for the best for Wendy, you know. And being in the spotlight like that, putting other people's business out there, and now your business is getting put out there. I'm sure that weighs a lot on you too. Well, they was talking about um. Replacing her with Nick Cannon. So we will see how that turns out. Or if that's even possible. I'm not sure how that would work. But we going to see. Alright y'all. Well if you like this. Y'all know what to do. Okay. I will see y'all later. <laughs>